common conditions of the thumb, thumb pain. The thumb is important for the normal function of the hand. Many different conditions can affect the normal function of the thumb. It is important to recognize the most common conditions affecting the thumb so appropriate treatment can be given to the patient. Stenosing tenosynovitis, which is called trigger thumb, one of the more common problems of the hand and it is associated with painful triggering or locking of the thumb. When the patient tries to straighten the thumb, the nodule jams beneath the pulley proximally. When this condition is painful or create severe locking of the thumb, surgery may be helpful. The surgeon should be aware that the radial sensory branch will be in the middle of the field and could be injured from surgery. Another condition is the extensor pollicis longus tendon rupture. The extensor pollicis longus tendon is responsible for extension of the thumb distal interpharyngeal joint. When the rupture occurs, the patient will experience loss of thumb extension. And this typically occurs due to fracture of the distal radius. Rupture of this tendon will prevent extension of the distal pharynx. Another condition is entrapment of the posterior interosseous branch of the radial nerve. The posterior interosseous nerve is a continuation of the radial nerve and runs through the forearm. The nerve passes through the supinator muscle of the forearm. The nerve becomes entrapped at the proximal edge of the supinator. Injury to the nerve may also be associated with fractures or dislocations of the radial head or the elbow joint. The patient will be able to perform wrist extension but cannot do finger and thumb extension. The patient cannot hitchhike. A patient with a proximal radial nerve injury will lose wrist extension and finger and thumb extension. Unable to do the OK sign due to an anterior interosseous nerve injury. The anterior interosseous nerve comes from the median nerve just below the elbow and supplies the deep muscles on the front of the forearm. Typically, there will be weakness of the long flexor muscle of the thumb, the flexor pollicis longus, and the deep flexor muscle of the index and middle finger, the profundus. So the patient cannot bend the DIP of the thumb or the index finger, and the patient will not be able to do the OK sign. Another condition is injury to the under nerve. The injury of the under nerve can be diagnosed by a test called the Froman's sign. A cubital tunnel syndrome occurs due to compression of the under nerve at the elbow. As a result of cubital tunnel syndrome, the patient is unable to cross the fingers and unable to abduct or abduct the fingers. When the under nerve is injured, the abductor pollicis muscle becomes weak. It is supplied by the under nerve. So when pinching a piece of paper between the thumb and the index finger, the thumb IP joint will flex if the abductor pollicis muscle is weak, and that is called from a sign, which indicates an injury to the under nerve. Rheumatoid arthritis of the thumb. Inflammation or irritation causing pain, swelling, weakness, and over time, loss of normal shape and alignment of the joints of the hand. This deformity can lead to loss of the ability to grip, grasp, and pinch. The last condition, CMC joint arthritis. 
arthritis of the basal joint or thumb CMC. It is hard to differentiate between basal thumb arthritis and de Courvain syndrome. Grind test is used for basal thumb arthritis. X-ray is helpful in identifying basal thumb arthritis. Finkelstein test is used for de Courvain syndrome. De Courvain syndrome is stenosing tenosynovitis of the first dorsal compartment of the rest. It affects two tendons, the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis. Patient will have pain and the swelling located over the radial, the thumb side of the rest. The pain is usually located at the base of the thumb to the side of the rest. It occurs due to inflammation, thickening, and the stenosis of the synovial sheath. Condition is more common in women. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.